everybody welcome back to homestead heart and this video is a continuation from the last video where i had to heavily prune big bertha our peach tree and i mean i pruned her back really hard and i showed you in that video all of the branches that came off of bertha and the branches were like they were trees all by themselves right so there was one left that Mr. H is gonna take down because it's much too tall and probably way too heavy for me to do uh, by myself. So I'm gonna get his assistance to take that down or he'll take it down. But what I'm gonna do in the meantime is because she had a disease of some sort, plus the peach borer issue, but the biggest issue was the disease or the fungus. So what I'm going to do, all of these leaves that fell from her, I'm going to rake all of that away. All of it. Because it's diseased leaves, I don't want that continuously breaking down into the soil. So I'm going to rake everything from around her, probably in a five foot radius, I would say, a diameter of five feet around her and clean her completely out. And then I'm going to take my shovel, I'm going to move away some dirt, and I'm going to fertilize her. Okay, just with some stuff that I have right here on the homestead, nothing purchased, all right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that and I'm gonna take you with me. So let's get started. Ooh, girl. This was a part of her too, y'all. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is clear some of this brush from around it and I borrowed Mr. H's machete. He don't like nobody bothering his machete, so. <laughs> I asked permission. Okay, I believe I got it cleared enough from underneath. Now I can continue with my raking. Woo. We are gonna take these leaves completely out of here and boil them. All right, so now that Big Bertha, she is nice and clean all the way around. Like I said, about five feet diameter all the way around. She's nice and clean. But now I'm getting ready to add different fertilizers to her. And the fertilizers that I'm going to be using are just fertilizers that we have right here on the homestead. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to be using is my eggshells. Again, they're just crushed eggshells. I've grounded them into a powder with this old uh, Dollar General mixer, blender, little hand blender, not hand blender. Anywho, 
<laughs> it cost like it was like ten dollars but at christmas time i think you can get them two for five which is when i got mine so i use that to crush up the eggshells and so that's the first thing i'm going to put around her because i want to do a good job of making sure she get tons of fertilizer so the eggshells are going to be first Next, I'm going to add coffee grounds. And lastly, I have five gallons of chicken poop. Now, what I'm going to do is I have the option to get wood chips or I can get more leaves and I can get the leaves from anywhere, really. We got leaves everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to cover her back up around her base. I actually prefer the wood chips, okay? But I'm going to cover her back up. I just kind of scratched in the chicken manure. It was mostly composted. The chicken manure because it came from the um, it came from the nursery side of our chicken house okay which is where we start off all of our baby chicks and and let them raise up and whatnot so I pulled it from there so it was really good and composted because I haven't used that side in a while so I just shoveled in about five gallons I actually may go get another five gallons and yeah, I'm going to go grab another five gallons. I'll be back. <laughs> in the meantime and in between time, I also went and collected leaves from an, a different area to put down around this tree. And I'm going to rake those in now. Yeah. so it looks like I'm gonna need another wheelbarrow or two <laughs> of uh, the leaves and what I'll do is man I'm sorry if y'all can't see me let me move Timber, what I have done, I put leaves down around her. I'm going to have to add another couple of wheelbarrows full to get around her to make sure she's covered to get a nice layer of leaves mulch around her base. I'm not concerned about watering the fertilizers in because I know they will get watered in. We're expecting rain. So I'll water them in. Hey, Jax. And... I chopped a lot of trees down around her 
again chainsaws not working and I don't have an X so I use Mr. H's machete to chop down all of those trees that were once you could probably see where I, I've cut down quite a bit of them five six I think seven or eight little trees that I've chopped down yeah man nice big trees too with this so I got them all chopped down I got to pull that one out and then um, that should provide I don't know if you could see but all of that I've cleared it all out now you can see clean through there if you need to rewind the video to see what it looked like at first please do so <laughs> but I've cleaned all of that out and now Big Bertha got tons of airflow I got a branch right here that's kind of low that could stand to be uh, cut you know I don't know how we're gonna do it because it's pretty high but it needs to be done so but anyway Big Bertha has tons of airflow and we'll get better sunlight now that I have cleared all around her there's nothing around her now you know that should prohibit her from getting good airflow and sun so yeah that's gonna do it you all it's getting late in the evening and I have to go inside and uh, get my dinner going <laughs> uh, some of y'all know what I'm talking about I gotta stop and go get my dinner going <laughs> but that's temporary but anyway y'all I am going to stop right here and say thank you all so much for joining me today as I try to get Big Bertha ready for the spring. We need some big peaches. So hopefully, hopefully we're doing the best that we can. If this doesn't work, we just going to take her out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> all right, y'all. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching me here at Homestead Heart. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give the video a nice big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel and share the video if you think that there is someone who could benefit from our journey on the homestead please share it with everybody on your social media everywhere that really does make a difference when we can spread the love all right thank y'all so much for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to each and every one of you we're going to see y'all in the next video. I want to cut down another few trees, but I know my time is. I ain't got no more. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> uh, maybe tomorrow. I might have time to take down that one that's sitting right back here in the cut. It won't take me but like five minutes. Just five minutes, that's all. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs>